Hey little readers, parents, and caregivers. Welcome to Ruthie's Reviews and Recs. I'm Ruthie, and Recs stand for Recommendations. This is a spot where I review some wonderfully talented, extremely creative, black and diverse authors that you can find from your local Kingston Frontenac Public Library. And if you're not from the Kingston area, check out your library and see if you can find the books I recommend. Tell them Ruthie sent you. This is a spot where parents and caregivers can have their ready-made borrow list when you head over to your library. That means you'll be sure to support black and diverse authors when you get there. Pull up a chair and check out this next pick. It is A Little Miss Lou, How Jamaican Poet Louise Bennett Coverley Found Her Voice. This book was written by Nadia L. Hone and illustrated by Eugenie Fernandez. And the book was published by Owl Kids Books. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so let's dive in. Being a Canadian born with Jamaican roots, this book hits home for me. This book written by Nadia L. Hone features, casts a huge light on Louise Bennett Coverley, one of the pioneers of bringing forward Patois in written language and poetry. We go through this book and learn about Louise Bennett's experience back in Jamaica, how in the school that she first started in, the teacher didn't understand or support Patois in written, in written word. And we come to find out that Louise switched schools and went to Excelsior, which she was so proud of. Louise was a lover of words from a very young age and although she couldn't always speak them out, she did really well to put pen to paper and express her ideas. We learn a bit about some of her early experiences, some of the things she heard in Patois, and we feel the tug and pull between proper English and Patois, which was understood in Jamaica. Louise left Jamaica on a scholarship and went to London and perfected her craft. She was the first black woman at that school, so she paved the way in that as well. And she is seen as the person who brought Patois forward as an acceptable way of speaking and sharing Patois throughout the world. So other artists who came behind her, including Bob Marley and Nadia L. Hone, can credit Louise Bennett Coverley for paving the way. I would recommend this book for our more mature readers as again, there are many words per page, so it may be more difficult for our little readers to stay engaged, but the art that Eugenie Fernandez did will certainly keep you interested. I give Little Miss Lou six and a half jaw paws out of seven. It's a great read, it's educational, and at the back, there's additional information about Louise's life and a glossary and explanation of some of the Patois terms and phrases you find throughout the book. So I give Natty L. Hone a thumbs up. Thank you so much for sharing this bit of history that could likely go unshared with the world. So head out with your little readers to your local library, Kingston Frontenac Public Library. Can't wait to have you visit and note this down as one of the books you want to borrow. Keep on coming back to Ruthie's Reading Room and checking for Ruthie's Reviews and Recs so that you can add to your borrow list and keep a diverse variety of books at the ready in your own home library. We can't wait to see you there. And if you have any favorite books written by a black or diverse author, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook at Ruthie's Reading Room or email me at ruthiesreadingroom at gmail.com. I just might feature a book that you've shared with me right here on Ruthie's Reviews and Recs. And feel free to also hop on over to a story time and enjoy reading with Ruthie. I can't wait to share another review and recommendation next time. See you then and happy reading.